It is almost 11 p.m. right now. I am cutting it dangerously close to my midnight deadline of posting my daily videos, so let's make this super quickly. I just had a call with one of my YouTuber friends, Timmy, and he was giving me advice for my channel. He said that he thinks that I need to niche down on the topics that I talk about. If my general theme of topics that I talk about is self-improvement, then I should niche down and talk about self-improvement more than other topics. And that might be good advice, especially when I'm talking about so many different topics and are just going everywhere so not pe many people are interested in them as he pointed out and as I said in my video previously about I posted 300 videos here's my results so far my growth has been pretty steady and growing uh, but since January 28th the, the the growth has really declined drastically and it's almost flatlined it is growing but at a much slower rate and so he was thinking maybe it's because I'm not niche down enough and I'm just too broad and scattershot so he said give that a try and that seems like a pretty good idea. Another thing he mentioned was he asked what I like doing and I said I like watching YouTube videos even though I try to limit myself so I don't spend too many hours watching YouTube videos. I try to not watch as much as possible. But he said if that's what you like doing and you like learning from these self-improvement videos then watch the latest self-improvement videos. Give your take on what you learned from it and your takeaway of what you're gonna try and generally what I think of the content. And I could be a somewhat of a commentator on the self-improvement videos that are the, like the latest Andrew Huberman podcast for example that was just an example that he was hypothetically giving and while I don't want to be a commentary channel I was thinking that's actually a really good way and I've been doing that some with some videos uh, in the past about some things that I've watched that I've taken away from so and I got to realize that a lot of you my audience don't actually watch the same videos that I do so even if I'm watching these popular self-improvement videos doesn't mean you're watching them so I could share something that I've learned from that and share a little clip with you of what I've learned so that's another video idea stream that I could do of he said watch YouTube like a researcher not just passive entertainment so that was pretty interesting to hear. This morning I got this, my international driving permit. It cost like 50 bucks and I got a bad photo of myself. I didn't even dress up for it. I just wore my homeware, which is this. And uh, my hair doesn't look good, but whatever. It doesn't really matter. I have this so now I can drive in Switzerland and Germany. I am leaving on Monday and today is Friday. So that is really soon. But I haven't even tried editing on my new MacBook Pro yet. I still been editing on my desktop because because I haven't had much time to edit these videos. So I really have to try DaVinci Resolve on my MacBook Pro and try to get used to it since I'm gonna be making daily videos from that from now on for the next two weeks. Okay, all that's said and done. Time to edit this video 1% better every day, baby. See you tomorrow. I just did shoulder by try and Stairmaster at the gym. Kinda lazy today. I only did like seven minutes of Stairmaster. So gotta work harder tomorrow. Take it, take it, take it, take it, take it, take it, take it. Oh. Watch it. Take it. Like. <laughs> what she loves? No. Oh. <laughs> Take it.